Hi everyone, welcome back to Technolabs. Have you ever wondered how simple clean sine wave can create something as sharp as square wave? It sounds impossible. Well, uh, today I am going to reveal the magic behind it using one of the most important concepts in mathematics and engineering, the Fourier series. In this video, we will learn what is a Fourier series and how we can calculate the coefficients a0, an and bn and how we can use harmonic analysis to build a scale wave step by step. This video is packed with visualization and simple explanation so whether you are a student, engineer or just curious about signal processing you are in the right place. So let's get started. To understand the Fourier series, let me ask you a simple question. Can we represent any periodic signal like a square wave as a combination of sines and cosines? Think about it. The answer is yes. And that's the beauty of Fourier series. Basically, the Fourier series allow us to represent a periodic function as an infinite sum of sines and cosines, the general form of a Fourier series is here, where f of t is equal to a naught by 2 and then summation a n cos 2 pi n t by t and b n sine 2 pi n t by t. a naught here is the DC component or you can, you can say that the average value of the signal. And an is basically the coefficient of the cosine term, and is basically uh, a n capture the even part of the signal. And similarly, b n are the coefficient of the sine terms, and uh, they are used to capture the odd part of the signal. Now the infinite sums tell us that if we add enough sines and cosines with the right amplitude we can perfectly recreate any periodic signal next uh, let me show you how to calculate these coefficient one by one so here we have uh, all of the co coefficients are available here first the dc component a naught which is the average value of the signal here the formula is a naught is equal to 2 by time period uh, 0 to time t integration f of t dt and cosine coefficient a n which is the even part and similarly sine coefficient b n the odd part. By using these three formulas we can calculate the a naught a n and b n. All of these coefficients are calculated by integrating our one period of the function. Now, let's see one more concept here, the frequencies, the Fourier spectrum or frequency spectrum. So here, the first one is the amplitude spectrum. We can calculate it by taking a square root of a n square plus b n square and phase spectra, which is basically phi is equal to minus 10 inverse b n by a n. All right, now let's apply these concepts to a practical example, the harmonic analysis of a scale wave. Let's analyze a scale wave using Fourier series. For simplicity, we will consider a scale wave uh, with a period of 2 pi. So we have calculated A naught here which is 2 by 2 pi because we have the time period here 2 pi so the integration over 2 pi limit uh, the answer is 0 similarly a n the answer will be 0 but b n has some value which is equal to 4 by n pi for the odd values the Fourier series of the scale waves become f of t 4 by pi the fundamental part sine of t and then the harmonic the multiple of the fundamental frequencies are present in the 
uh, main function. Now let's visualize how will this work in real time. This is the fundamental sinusoidal wave. It is the first and largest harmonic. Adding the third harmonic, here we add a small, smaller oscillating wave with three times the frequency of the fundamental to the original waveform. Adding the fifth harmonic, n is equal to 5, the scale waves become sharper as more harmonics are added. So now the red waveform, basically here we are adding the seventh harmonic and similarly now this one we are adding the ninth harmonic in the fundamental sinusoidal wave. By now the waveform look much closer to the scale wave. So now let's see, without adding all of the odd multiples in our fundamental sinusoidal wave, how we can see, let's see, here we have all are the odd multiples here. The amplitude here you will see continuously decreasing when you are adding the odd multiples in your fundamental sinusoidal wave or you can say in the fundamental harmonic. Now we will perform uh, this harmonic analysis of scale wave in our MATLAB. So let me open the MATLAB and then I will explain you there. Okay students so in the MATLAB first we will define the period t is equal to 2 pi and create a time vector t to visualize two full cycles. Then we define harmonic components for k which is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 using the Fourier series formula for the scale wave. Now uh, we are adding the harmonics without loop. Uh, we start with first harmonic and plot it. Then we add the third harmonic to it and plot the new waveform. Similarly, we add the 5th, 7th and 9th harmonic step by step. This clear step by step approach shows how the waveform evolves. Next we have the amplitude and phase response. We plot the amplitude response showing the amplitude of the 1st, uh, 3rd, 5th, 7th and 9th harmonics. Since all the sine waves are in phase, the phase response will be uh, minus 90 degree for all the harmonics. So for this uh, here the, the step one is to uh, define the time vector here which is t is equal to uh, start from 0 to 4 pi. Uh, the step size is 0 0.01 and the harmonic component for the scale waves here uh, we have only bn coefficient here so b1 b2 b3 b4 and b5 i have uh, defined only six uh, values for the b then i'm just adding them one by one here so here square wave approximate approximation one is b1 in the second we have added the second odd multiple in the third we have added the third multiple so here we will get um, all the five odd multiples in our fundamental sinusoidal wave in scale wave approximation 5 in this vari variable we will get all the harmonics then we just 
need to plot them so I'm using here the plot command here plot t scare wave the first plot t scare approximation to the second harmonic similarly one by one I have plotted all of the harmonics here and then I'm defining here the n variable which is the number of harmonic 1 3 5 7 9 and here the bn uh, value so when you take an uh, magnitude you will get the result only bn because an and a naught is zero in this case so you just need to plot only bn here so now i'm plotting here n bn with the line width is 1.5 Similarly, the phase is here. For all values of the harmonics, we will get the 90 degree. So now, let me run the code and show you all the waveform. So this is my harmonic analysis. Where you can where you can see we have this blue waveform which is our fundamental sinusoidal wave and then we are going to add uh, harmonics in our fundamental sinusoidal we will get a resultant waveform which is a uh, more closer to the scale wave here you can see that now we have amplitude response in amplitude response we can see that we have a magnitude spectrum which is continuously decreasing here this is b1 it's approximately equal to 1.3 and then it's an odd multiple so even values will will be equal to zero so you will get the values of bn for odd values so here b3 is equal to 0. Point approximately equal to 0. 0.4 and similarly the amplitude continuously decreasing here this is my amplitude spectrum of scale wave now here this is the phase response here we have the harmonic number and the angle here we are getting which is minus 90 degrees from zero to infinite harmonic number you will get a minus 90 degree phase shift so what did we learn today we successfully we uh, we successfully visualize how a scale wave with period 2 pi is built step by step using its harmonic components we saw how adding odd harmonics 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 1 by 1 brings the waveform closer to an ideal scale wave. We also plotted the amplitude response which showed how the amplitude of harmonics decreases with increasing harmonic number. The phase response showed that all harmonics are in phase minus 90 degree. If you found this video helpful like share and subscribe to support the channel see you in the next video take care and goodbye